probably another video. This time we got some more American confidential. G12 was all cases way worse than he thought. I ain't even know G12 was locked up, so let's see what's going on. Jump up in that car for a deep, think it was supposed to start it. Baby chat the Glock, the go. Think that my shit hot, but skinny say we need to push it harder. Just there when he got shot, but you know I can't tell us. Put on that block, that's where they let him have it. Know them monster play with us, they know them G Lock semi automatic. Brody said you let him have it. He got 30 in his clip, he could have started for the map. We check rock and let them hollows fly. Jumped up on that person, trust just made me. They caught him lacking in that store, they wish they saved me. I don't care for them. Caught him on that side, like what you doing over there with them? Listen on that day, yeah, that's gonna get you in the air with them. Drop three one hit his head, they ain't one slide to set it tears. The second warrant was executed, was served here at 1429 West Alney Avenue. While the SWAT officers were inside the property executing a search warrant while on the second floor, they were confronted by Mel with a gun who pointed the gun at SWAT officers. One SWAT officer discharged his weapon, he did not strike the Mel. Um, there was a female in the room who did sustain an injury um, to her buttocks, but at this point we don't believe it was a result of a gunfire. We are still investigating that. So as of right now, that's all we have. We have our officer involved shooting team here conducting an investigation, and they are working with our district attorney's office. So it warrants it. Zaire Butler, or G12 Zai, was born in February of 1999 in North Philadelphia before he moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, around the age of five. While in North Carolina, his mom ended up getting arrested when he was only 10 years old. Due to not liking the slow life of North Carolina and his mother's newfound living situation, he had to move back up to Philadelphia with his dad. Zaire ended up dropping out of King High School in Germantown. Oh, shit. He gotta go to school, Rick! This would be one in a series of bad decisions by G12's eye. In July of 2021, G12 was arrested in Alney when a SWAT team went to a house on the 1400 block of Alney Avenue to serve an early morning arrest warrant. The suspect was Zaire Butler, or G12 Zai, and he was the second suspect wanted in relation to a shooting that happened a few months earlier at a Wawa in Sheltonham Township. In my very first episode of Rap Lyrics That Really Happened, I talked about G12 Zai, and here's what I had to say then. G12 Zai, a.k.a. Mr. Top Tier, a.k.a. Fab Baby, is a rapper from the Alney section of Philadelphia. G12 Zai is from 12th and Grange and is known for his sing-songy style. With songs talking about all of his street crimes and dissing his apps, G12 Zai is playing a dangerous game with his aspiring music career. In 2022, Zai signed a deal with independent Philadelphia label Dope Records. Earlier that same year, he was released from prison after serving some months on gun charges. Za mainly beats with LV or Logan Valley and Parkside. Ashim Chansey, or Shimo, was a young man who was cool with a lot of Logan Valley members like A Street Fizo and D Rose. On Saturday, December 5th, just after 2 a.m., 19-year-old Ashim Chansey, or Shimo, found himself at the Natural Restaurant at North 8th and Lindley Avenue. Ashim was ambushed as he went on a midnight food run. In the case of a teenager shot dead inside of a takeout restaurant this past December, here is Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters report. In the overnight hours on Saturday, December 5th, 19-year-old Aishim Chansey found himself at the Natural Restaurant at North 8th and- These niggas be young as hell too, cause I'm 19. I can't even imagine myself in those situations like this, bro. That should be, that should be cooking whenever I was how young niggas be. Niggas be younger than me too, 19, kinda like, bro. I mean, G12, he's, he's like 24, 25, but still, nigga. 
That shit crazy. I was just seeing some shit about a 15 year old. They said a fucking 11 year old. 11 is really crazy. In Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia's Nicetown neighborhood. At 2.18 a.m., police were called for a report of a person with a gun. When they arrived, they found Chansey suffering from multiple gunshot wounds on the floor inside the restaurant. He was immediately transported in a radio control car uh, to Albert Einstein Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead by medical personnel. The city of Philadelphia is offering up to 20... G12 has a habit of dissing Shimo on his biggest songs. Losing me over 500k views. Them Johnny's like they hot wheels, shoot them pilots like they race. We'll never pass no L, we smoke little Shimo to the face. I go over 600k views. Suddenly I'm dreaming. I this, this is where I found out how I found out who G12 was all was. My man throwing that I go for the first time. I said, what? Big drugs with fighting demons. I see Shimo and Beam. Speaking with lemons, you know I'm a squeeze. Gangsta party over but one million. Oh, oh, oh. They caught him lacking in that store, put him in a box. We did some jokes and ghost box. Which is made worse by the fact that this is how most people in Philadelphia come to hear the name Shimo. It's from a diss song. I seem Chancey's friends and family remember him as a loving mm -hmm. athlete who loved his guys and really shouldn't have died in the first place. Top 29 reported that Philadelphia police are investigating an incident after a SWAT officer serving a warrant in Ogons discharged his firearm when he encountered an armed suspect Friday morning. This was back in July of 2021. I reported on it the day it happened. A rapper from Alney that some have heard of going by the name G12 Za was arrested Saturday morning during what police say is a joint effort with Shoalham Township Police to serve an arrest warrant about a shooting earlier this year that allegedly took place at a Wawa in Shoalham. During the raid, police say G12 pulled, a, pulled out a gun during the attempt to serve the warrant but didn't fire any shots. A SWAT officer did fire a shot when he saw the gun, but they say it didn't hit anyone. However, a girl that was in the apartment at the time was hit in the ass by the debris, say the cops. Till more information comes out, we won't know exactly what happened there. I mean, they saying the G12 pulled out a gun, but he didn't shoot the gun. But the SWAT officers fired a shot that didn't hit nobody. But this girl that was in the apartment got hit by debris and she was taken to the hospital. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we we going to wait till more information comes out on that. So anyway, she was taken to the hospital. Police said this was the second of two warrants being served that morning and that the person who pulled the gun, supposedly G12's eye, was arrested. G12's career is just getting started, and this will be a serious fumble if this stops his plans of being a rapper going forward. For that case in 2021, G12 was arrested, and bail was set at 10% of $250,000. At first, G12 paid his bail, but then it was increased to $750,000 in November. Why? Because in between when he was bailed out in July and when his bail was raised, to that 10% of 750,000. In November, there was that infamous video when G12 Zai was on Instagram Live on October 12th. Why do niggas be on Instagram Live so fucking much? That shit don't even pay niggas. I could kind of understand if it was at least on TikTok, niggas are sending you gifts. You make a little bit like, that, don't even, that ain't even worth it. But niggas be on Instagram, mother, bro. What, what, what is in Instagram Live, bro? Like, what about that shit really just make niggas want to hop on there and do a legal activity, bro? 27th, 2021. The nurse, they go red, y'all. Oh, they, they go red. I ain't taking my shit off. They got a ski mask, but his account got disabled it. Like, bro, what is the point, bro? Hey, y'all. Oh, that's definitely red, bro. That's red. Right.
Jeremiah Porter's in custody, Kevin Williams, and G12 Zop. And we have four bodies, four guns right now. Oh, all right. So, you said this nigga's rapping. I think it's actually right. 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 I got it. Yeah, is there any more gloves in that trunk? <laughs> he was arrested along with Lonnie and Maya Glizzy. After G12 was arrested, he was charged with possession of drug with intent to deliver, which is a felony, and firearms not to be carried without a license, which is also a felony. He also caught an escape charge, which is a felony. I guess the escape charge was running from police once they had him in custody. I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what happened for him to catch that escape charge. I was under the impression that you had to be in police custody for an escape charge. But anyway, as far as the first arrest with the SWAT officer, some of the charges were withdrawn for some reason, only to be refiled a few months later. This was the more serious of the two cases, as this one involved a charge that is called aggravated assault, fear of imminent bodily injury, or SBI, of a designated person. What this charge means, basically, is that you make a terroristic threat towards an officer. In January of 2022, this was one of five charges that were withdrawn only to be refiled a few months later, like I said. After all the smoke cleared, in January of 2024, G12 Zai pleaded guilty and was sentenced to one and a half to three years confinement on that aggravated assault terroristic threats charge. Six years probation on the firearms, not to be carried without a license charge, and six years probation for the drugs as part of the refiled charges. And also two and a half to five years incarceration on the firearm, not to be carried without a license. To recap, in July of 2021, G12 was arrested and faced five charges. And also in October of the same year, while out on bail, he called another case which was caught on his own Instagram live. So unless I'm reading this wrong, G12 got two and a half to five years basically, plus the six month probation for all the firearms and terroristic threats. If that is indeed the case, it is once again so sad to see someone with actual talent. He was signed to a record label at one point, throw it all away. I blame a lot of it on the drugs these kids use to drown out the pain. I'm fried. And if I get and if I get hit, I'm still gonna be alive because I'm so high right now. So if I get hit, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get hit, but I'm gonna be on some scarfy shit because I'm gonna feel it. But I'm gonna be so high, I'm not gonna feel it for real. This nigga is fucking fried. <laughs> what, guys? He said, I'm not gonna feel it for real, bro. I'm gonna feel it. So I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have time to shoot back or get active. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna make it to the hospital still. That's why I love this shit because I'm active. I'll be all the time. So if I get shot or something like that. I'm gonna still be able to do what me and get active right back with y'all niggas. Ain't no way. If y'all shoot me in my pocket, it ain't gonna go through because I always got this fat ass monkey man in my pocket. So it ain't gonna go through all the way. The bullet gonna get stuck in the middle of my money somewhere. But it's also lack of guidance and direction. If 12 had a manager that did their job correctly, there's no way an artist would be hanging on the corner with illegal guns. To all the managers of these artists today, Man, if you gotta take 10,000 out your own pocket to get these artists out the city, that's what you gotta do, man. Leaf and G12 both were at different stages in their careers, but both got caught with illegal guns, and that's unacceptable. If you're an artist watching this and you see any potential in your career at all, please get as far away from the city as possible if you're in the streets. Because what I'm hearing from a lot of people is that even if you do have a felony, you have to carry a gun for protection. Whether that's true or not is irrelevant. In Leaf's case, he now has a Fed case, and for G12, it's looking like he's facing some time. I doubt he'll do that whole two and a half to five years. I think I saw in there somewhere that he was boot camp eligible and that also it was recommended by the judge. So much like Bucks, 
as long as he does what he's supposed to do, he can get out in hopefully less than two years. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Thanks for watching American Confidential. Yeah, man. Niggas are tripped out, bro. 3G12. Let me know what else y'all wanna see. Yo.